All new tonight, a popular antique mall closed its doors today. A surprise for customers and a shock to some of its vendors. Plus, this building is owned by Tom Horn. He's a candidate for attorney general. ABC 15's Brian Webb picks up the story from there. It's closing time at the historic antique mall, 7th Avenue in McDowell. Not for the night, for good. Customers like Kara caught off guard. And just interesting today, too, that I decide, decided to come in and they said, no, we're closed. And I said, oh, what time do you close? No, we're closed for good. Okay, so. But that's nowhere near the shock to some of the vendors here, the people who sell everything from retro clothes to old records. They have to be out in two months. They found out two hours ago. Most started packing up immediately. We were up front. Judy's been selling here for years and feels like the dealers are getting the raw end of this deal. And a lot of these dealers here are on fixed incomes and need their checks from this mall. And we've basically, basically been cut off at the knees for the rest of the month. The building is owned by Tom Horn, former state superintendent, current attorney general candidate. He says he sold the property to a developer, something he's been trying to do for a while. Judy wonders if there's more to it. Something is rotten in Denmark, I think, you know. Several employees expect to be out of a job, and customers like Kara are out of luck. Um, I'm a little bummed, <laughs> a little bummed about it. And as for the vendors of this historic antique mall, people like Judy. Here we are. We're out of here now. Time is up. Brian Webb, ABC 15 News.